Good evening, I'm your host, Wanda Brednett. Tonight we begin our coverage in the United Kingdom. Canadian Justin Bieber is in the middle of his Purpose World Tour. He's currently stationed in London, England. London is, of course, the capital of England and the capital of the United Kingdom as well. During his stay in England, we have not been able to confirm whether he's been to see Big Ben or taken a boat ride on the River Thames. You can be sure that we'll bring you any breaking news on that very subject in the event that Beebs ventures out to any of London's tourism hotspots. In the meantime, we are able to report that Bieber met with football star Mesut Ozil today and the two Geofabs exchanged shirts. Bieber got his hands on a number 11 jersey, and Ozeal walked away with a concert tee. After that meeting, Bieber and Ozeal arranged to have dinner together so they could become geofabulous friends. So what did these new friends talk about at dinner? We can reliably speculate that they discussed traveling the world and living the jet set lifestyle. They both have intriguing geofabulous backstories. Bieber brings England, Canada, and the United States to the table, while Ozil has a story that includes Turkey, Germany, Spain, and England. Justin Bieber was born in London, but not in England. How is that possible? Well, Bieber was born in a town called London in the province of Ontario, in the country of Canada. London, Ontario is just a short drive from Detroit, Michigan in the U.S. Detroit was nicknamed Motor City for its car manufacturing. The Motor City moniker was later shortened to Motown. Motown then became the name of a record label that signed acts like The Supremes and The Jackson 5. Decades later, Bieber would sign with a record label, but not in nearby Detroit. Instead, Bieber would sign with a New York record label and would choose to make Los Angeles, California his home. And what about his new pal, Mesut Ozil? Ozil is a famous footballer, or as they like to say in Bieber's new home, the United States, Ozil is a soccer player. And Mesut Ozil is one seriously geofabulous soccer player. He's of Turkish descent. That's right, his grandparents left their home country of Turkey. His parents grew up in Germany, and Ozil was born there. Turkey is a transcontinental country. In other words, Turkey spans two continents. Part of the country is on the European continent, and the other part is on the Asian continent. Istanbul, a major Turkish city, also spans two continents and serves as a gateway between Europe and the Middle East. The vast majority of Turkey's people practice the religion of Islam, and Istanbul is known for its beautiful mosques. Turkey's capital is Ankara, located about 500 kilometers inland from Istanbul. Ozil is such a great footballer that he was invited to go to Ankara and meet Turkey's president Erdogan. In fact, he's been to see Erdogan twice. But remember, Ozil was born and grew up in Germany. Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, wanted to meet Ozil too. She invited him to Germany's capital city of Berlin three times. Mesut Ozil began his professional career in Spain's capital city of Madrid, where he played for the team called Real. After two years in Madrid, he signed with a team called Arsenal. Arsenal is based in London. And that explains how Bieber and Ozil came to exchange shirts and eat dinner together on a mid-October evening in 2016. We've already speculated that Bieber and Ozil might have discussed world travel. Well, there's one other topic that might have come up. It's the controversial topic of immigrants and immigration. Many people claim immigrants are unwanted because they don't properly adopt the culture of their host countries. Assuming the host countries always have superior culture to that of the immigrants themselves, can we count on Bieber, the Canadian, to adopt the gun-loving stance of Americans? 
Likewise, will Ozeal the German be happy to emulate the colonizing penchant of the English? Perhaps the better solution is to concede that immigrants generally tend to make their host countries better in ways that may not be immediately obvious to everyone involved. Well, that's all for tonight's news. Remember to subscribe, and until next time, keep being geo-fabulous. <laughs>